they were catching too many large walleye. Yep. It was a slot size competition, and they complained that they were That's catching it. too big fish. The competitor is done. The competitor's last ball lasted three minutes. The first one lasted eight. We'll take a look at the numbers after, and we'll, we'll give you a, an actual uh, count, because I think we're just estimating right now. But it's, no, it's pretty pathetic either way. That's approximate, so... Well, regardless, we put two of theirs down, and they're both gone. I'm not going to lie. I think we could put two more, actually, down right now and just w do it one after another, and I think we're going to win. You look, large bubbles still coming from Chumpuck. Yep. They cannot compete with us right now. Visual effect. Vibration for the lateral line. UV. The UV. Very important. Yes. In dirty, murky water. Also, the scent trail, the and, scent pocket. And anybody that's ever fished Lake Winnipeg knows pink is the hot color. Pink is the hot we color. We know this, right? <laughs> if you're going to use a jig, you use a pink jig, right? Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, on the right, looking pretty pretty boring. Wow, well, I was not expecting that on that second one. I was expecting a little more action. Yeah, I was expecting to see a little bit of a race until 16 minutes, but uh, <laughs> that's, that was three minutes. That's pathetic. What's with the uh, foam at the top of our leading competitor? I wonder what that is. Do you think that's <laughs> biodegradable? I don't know exactly what that is, but it looks pretty gross. What about the silica sparkles that they buy from the dollar store? What do you think about that? Uh, think that's healthy for the environment? We originally, in about version 5 or 6, were trying to source biodegradable glitter. And we could not find anything. Uh, there is some out there. It's used dust. mostly in makeup products. Yes, it is. It's actually natural. It's actually just dust. It's it's basically Mineral a dust. dust mixed with oil. Yes. So, from what I see in the right hand side, I really find it very hard to believe that that is biodegradable. Yeah. Oh yeah. We we found the exact product that they were using, cut the exact same shape, and uh, we decided that we're actually going to go. 100% green on this. All of our product is 100% biodegradable. We don't need we stand glitter. by that. We don't need glitter. The bubbles do what the glitter yes. does. And we're not going to say things like made with biodegradable ingredients. We're going to say 100% biodegradable. Yes. Because they can't say that. Because yes, they have biodegradable products, but not all of it is. Every ingredient in the chum puck is biodegradable. Look at those bubbles. I tell you though, to go to a tournament and be catching too many big fish, I can't remember what was said, but it was something like six or seven, 27s or something. 24s, 26s, and 27s. In a slot tournament. They were looking for under 18, so. Yeah, that, that, uh, that'd be, that's a good problem to have. Yep. For your uh, Just not on tournament. Fishermen. <laughs> Just not in a slot tournament. <laughs> but you know what I mean? They, they could have, uh, they were catching lots of fish. Yep. And if you want to win a tournament in slot or otherwise, you want to catch a lot of fish. Just Like I say, we alpha tested them by ourselves with awesome results. Then we buy, uh, beta tested them with, uh, I think we got, what, four or five, six guys using it. And the results are even better. So it's, it's turning out to be an absolutely amazing product. Look at it. 15 minutes, still going. Getting your pennies worth. Still attracting those fish. With the wiggle waggle. See, the benefit of the tournament guys too. Uh, in a tournament, you don't usually stay in a spot for more than 5-10 minutes. So what they do is they drop the puck. Uh, if nothing is hitting right away, they'll boot a couple hundred yards that way. They could come back to the puck and it's still going. I'd say make sure you have a marker buoy and make sure no one's following you. That's what GPS is for, my friend. Well, make sure nobody's uh, following your spots either and seeing what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, I believe one person at uh, Falcon Lake asked what was being dropped, and I believe one of our guys said, ah, fish crack. And it's a, <laughs> it's, a really good, uh, it's a really good adjective to use for this product. You see the fish go absolutely crazy on the underwater camera. They love it. Coming up on 16 minutes, lots of action on the left. The right side's pretty fast. Fizzy on top, foamy, disgusting. I don't glittery think, though. It's got lots of glitter. I don't think we could see that on the video, but we'll pick it up after and show yep. you guys. 
And I'll take a photo of it right now. Awesome. I'll, uh, I'll I'll put I'll post that up on our Instagram page as uh, as well. Link will be in the description after this video. It's getting kind of hard to talk how awesome this is for twenty minutes. Yeah. We have a we have a few other products as well, correct, Aaron? We have uh, we've got our bass formula as well. What we're testing right now is our walleye and pike. Like, don't kid yourself, we dropped this down in Lake of the Woods and let me tell you, the bass love it. But we have something even better for bass. Yep, we have, this is a, uh, a garlic walleye formula, the scent. And the bass formula is a coffee scent. We all know how much bass love coffee. And that, that seems to be the go-to for most guys, so that's hey, what we're trying and it's working good. Most guys that have ever uh, watched um, a few of the leading shows on uh, in Canadian television for bass fishing, you know. I don't know if I'm going to mention his name right now, but his name rhymes with Durser. Anyway, he loves his coffee tubes. Anybody that's ever bass fished knows coffee tubes are pretty hot. We have a ice fishing formula too, correct? Yes. Again, it's, it's basically just a slower release. Uh, it's going to be a shed scent. And the purpose of the slower release, which is very similar to what you're seeing now, is that it won't uh, bugger up your flasher screen. Oh, look! The sparkles are now falling to the bottom of the lake to live for a million years. I don't know if you could see that on the video. On the right? Awesome! 100% biodegradable, right guys? That, that. No, no, it's made with biodegradable ingredients. Okay, difference. There's a difference. Just like McDonald's with their 100% beef. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, that foam is greatly, greatly reduced, but it's just kind of compressing and turning into a scudge. Uh, the, the pucks will leave some bubbles left on the surface too, but I don't know what that is on the right, so. Yeah, I don't look forward to you cleaning that tube. Nope. Whatever that is. Oh. I do, I'm looking forward though. Like I actually want to smell this tube. I've been told that sometimes that they use scent. I don't know. Anytime I've ever tested their product, I don't smell anything. I don't either. Like if you smell ours, it, we don't have a bad smell, but it's definitely a potent smell. Yes. 19 minutes. Whoop, whoop. And the puck is still, well, there's, it's basically, I'll call it half going. The bubbles do reduce over time as the size does get a little smaller, but. I don't think they, you have to sell keep this coming. anymore. I they think anybody coming. that is stuck with us for this video can tell that, uh, yes, obviously the bubbles will decrease, but uh, considering we put our product against two of theirs. Yep. In tandem. WWF tag team style <laughs> handicap match and we came out on top and we're still going <laughs> Oh, there goes a nice one. Oh, look oh, at that. that. Awesome uh, We look forward though. We we have a couple of uh, plans in the future that we have we're gonna be doing some underwater testing in a uh, remote body of water as a Or an undisclosed body of water as a certain guy would say but um, we're talking crystal clear it's not Crow Duck Lake, guys. Um, and we will be testing this, and we are looking forward to actually getting some better underwater camera footage. Ideally, I want to have four or five smallmouth bass eating at these bubbles. That's, that's what I want to see. Yeah. And I believe we will have it. I want to see a nice four or five pound smallmouth bass cruising by and just gobble down one of those bubbles. Actually, I'd like to see a 45-inch uh, <laughs> muskie cruise by and eat the whole puck, but <laughs> you never know, guys. It could happen. Stranger things. Well, when do we call this? Death, um, death uh, to the competition. Death to the competition? I think that was about uh, 
we're, I'm estimating here because I'm not paying attention to the time all that much because now it's 21 minutes. But um, I want to say probably at least eight minutes ago. <laughs> eight minutes ago with the two of them. Like I said, like I think if we could reset up the camera, we can get how many more of their product do we have? We have one more left. Like I think honestly, if we went to the store right now and bought another one, we all know who we're talking about here. We could drop an entire tube down, one in unison, and they're not going to touch us. Like it's just the way it is. Well, we're advertising that these pucks last 20 minutes, and it's more than obvious there's still much more puck down there. So yeah, we're, we don't want to we don't want to claim anything crazy like 25 minutes or anything because then we feel like if you don't get it, we're obviously ripping you off. If, you're going to get your 20 minutes. Let's just leave it at that. Any every single puck we have tested in this latest formula lasts at least 20 minutes. Sorry, over 20 minutes, but 20 minutes is a good number. Especially considering, I don't even know what our competitor here. I've got a, I've got their product here. Uh, it doesn't even say. Doesn't even say how long it lasts. Doesn't even say. A lot less. Let's just leave it at that. Look at the bubble still coming. So oh. tell. Actually, I've got to pose a question. We're going to put this on YouTube. Yep. What do you guys think? Would you rather pay more for six 